Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, look, oh, got a box in the corner now. Uh, so, do a wee demo of this. This is a door lamp, door, door, door lamo, uh, fuzz pedal, which according to the stuff on the internet when I bought it, I'm going to talk, I'm going to do a demo first and then I'll talk about it. Um, yeah, so, using my test guitar, Fender Photo Flame Japanese Stratocaster, this is the clean sound. Going through that wee laney. PC15 to that 3 bit 12 cabinet, mic's up there. Try not to stand in front of the mic, just stand close enough so you can hear me. So all, all the dials at 12 o'clock, apart from the level maybe. using a loop pedal before it so I can stick something in I'm going to try and bump Hendrix but not make it that much of a <laughs> something that isn't really that annoying though Maybe if Hendrix was really on a bad trip, he might have played that. Yeah, so that's it, clean. This is a really clean guitar. I'm going to do a bit more later on, but so... Messed about with it. Oh, you can't... The first dial does particularly much. Um, Go. 
Lord to Birds of One Stone by uh, talking about it while I plug it in. But usual, this is me using a wee, a wee loop pedal. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the bar. My super balancing act of using my camera here just fell over. Yeah, so uh, I bought this on the 15th of February. And today is the 24th. Came from China. Um, and yeah, so I actually, I got a message from Royal Mail, Parcel Force 48, last week. Today's Wednesday, was it Thursday? It's Wednesday, I think it was on Thursday last week, I got a thing from Parcel Force saying I had a, 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 a £2.99 fee to pay. And um, there was no information on what the fee was for. Or anything like that. So I was sitting there. I, I don't really know what it was. This came by Parcel Force. So I think it was a fee for this. Um, if you look at the the packet it came in. It's got like the what you usually get from um, uh, China. And then there's another Parcel Force track label stuck on top. So I think the £3 is what they've done is they've kind of. It's a customs this great Brexitania that we live in now. Um, I think you're just going to get. So it's. The pedal itself cost £20.26, so £3, so what's that, uh, or 10% would be a £2, so 15%, it's, it's, it's got 15% put on it by Parcel Force. I don't know whether that's indicative of what, um, you know, the customs and all that stuff were for. It came in a pretty cool wee box. Uh, just like a, not very much in the box. It came in, it had like a one, in fact, it's probably still in it. One poly, one, it just came in a poly bag and it's got like wee, one of those wee packets of rubber feet. Should you want to stick them onto the bottom of it? That's kind of it. No instructions. Um, I did like, um, when I first opened it, you go, oh, let's open it. And it says, let's rock. So it's like, yay. So, <laughs> whatever that means to anyone. Um, yeah, so this should now be on, going into my big amp. Yeah, so it's now going through all my pedal boards and I can use my normal looper and stuff. Uh, Size-wise, I was going to shoot compared to, it's a sort of weird size, it's not quite, um, there is a mini pedal. That's the wee looper I was using, so it's sort of, um... Actually, I've not quite worked this out yet. <laughs> so, there's a mini, mini pedal, so it's kind of like the same... A bit wider than a mini pedal, but the same sort of dimensions. Uh, I compared a mini pedal to, I'm sure that's not... Like a Boss one or a Behringer one. So it's, you know, it's significantly smaller. Um, it doesn't take a battery. I, I did actually take it to bits to see if, if a battery fitted in it. It doesn't, um... I do have it running on a one of these, um, like a a battery with a connector on the end, sort of thing. So, so it is running on a battery there. It was incredibly noisy with the really cheapy, nasty power supply that I've got lying about that was running that loop pedal on. Um, but I think that's a, a fuzz pedally thing. Now I realise now looking at this, I have shot myself in the foot with uh, the old idea of having the TV on in the background. <laughs> There you go. Those, and I'm just going to read a bit of the bump about it, which is kind of why I bought it. Those of you familiar with the Dunlop Silicon Fuzz Face will be very interested in this little gem. If you're looking for an inexpensive, good quality, moderate fuzz, a moderate fuzz, to add your board, then this effect pedal is ideal for you. The three controls can produce anything from virtually clean to moderate fuzz with crunch type effects at lower levels. Inexpensive but good quality, strong alloy casing, clean to moderate fuzz. Delano model D2. Yeah, so definitely. I, 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 I've just got this thing about fuzz pedals these days. Um, I've actually just rearranged all my um, pedals into a better order. Well, what I think is a better order just last night and this coming this morning. It's like, so will it actually get a place in my pedal board? I don't know. I don't know about it being moderate fuzz. I mean, I don't know what's so moderate about it, really. I mean. Quite 
sort of, I, I, someone says, uh, I don't know, what did it say? It was a, a silicon fuzz face. There's like a germanium one as well, isn't it? I think Hendrix maybe used a germanium one. I, I don't really know what the difference is. It's definitely got a sound. Put a wee bit of a, bit of a backing track with a, some less. Well, move all the pedals about to use the GS theme. Buzz over the top. Some alteration needed to my camera system. It's a hell of a boost it gives, actually. Stratocaster, um, I've not tuned this for a while, so I think I saw the right one to know what it sounds like with humbuckers. So here's uh, my SG. Um, I don't think I've quite got the confidence just to assume it's in tune, so give me two seconds. It's not. has been hanging on the wall for a while. Though. Turn that off, mate. Stop interfering with the tuner quite so much. Yeah, so I'm, uh, most of the guitars I use are sort of obscure ones no one's ever heard of, so I'm um, using the, the ones everyone has heard of. Classic with my t shirt, man. Gain on it, real, really up to volume.
back it up. That last. Pleasant fool. There's a point there. There we go. Moderate fuzz is uh, quite a good description for it. Um, it's kind of I'm actually really liking it. I didn't even plug it. Oh, I plugged it in to make sure the light worked uh, before I even started doing this video. This is the first time, like from the start of this video, was the first time I'd played more than you know to make sure it was on. Um, I'm I'm liking it. I'm kind of into the sort of sixties type fuzz, which I think this kind of sounds like. Um, as like I said, it is a bit noisy. No, fuzz pedals are noisy, it's just what they are, isn't it? You do have to be careful with that level control though, it's very, um... And how loud does it go? <laughs> Okay, between sort of three o'clock, uh, between nine o'clock and twelve o'clock, it's kind of that's where all the travel is. Is that the same with the tone control? Yeah, the tone control's got a wee bit more in it. Yeah, so I think it's going on my pedal board anyway. Um, I'm liking it. It's quite damn cheap as well. I'll get something about. Um, I never even had a fuzz pedal until relatively recently when I bought the Twin Note one. Uh, no, it was actually the the Terminator one I bought from a uh, Gojira FX was the first fuzz pedal I bought. I bought it because it had the Terminator on it, and I wanted that. Um, so there we go. It's it's very orange. It's kind of showing up more orange in this particular picture. Um, it's really, it's like a high vis. Oh, in fact, yeah. So I bet you under the black light bulb, this lights up. Um, yeah. No, there's, there's a full range. I noticed there was quite a lot of um, of these ones. There's like a, they had like a tube screamery one at least, and I've, I'd imagine it was a chorus and a delay and stuff. But um, it seems great. There's not enough a lot of not a lot of writing on it. And there's no instruction manual, but I mean, you know, it's like levels, level, fuzz is fuzz, and tone is tone. It's got a blue light bulb in it. Um, yeah, so as I said, right now on eBay, which uh, this will be super advanced if I can manage to do this. I can't just do that, can I? Maybe. Uh, yeah, so no, I've got to go back onto the other screen. Computers can't, I can't get my bend my head around them. My eBay purchase history. Yeah, so it's a Delamo D2 fuzz 
guitar effects pedal. Uh, ordered it on the 15th, got it today on the 24th. Order total 2026. I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it was 2026 with free postage, but it says there item price 1688. So I wonder if they've um, changed that to try and for, for the customs things. You know, it's like you're okay, it does say 2026 free postage, but it's actually 1688 plus four pound postage or whatever it was. Um, I can't remember who the seller was. I did have a wee hunt about to see who it was. It's I can't even read that. I don't know whether it's I M L S underscore four or L M L S underscore four. Um, two seconds. I'll just see. I bet you if I was clever enough, I could probably put that screen in there. I take it there's not. It's not going to be that simple, is it? That's that's for next week. Uh, I've now got to try and find a cursor and then try and end this video if I can find where the cursor is. So, see if my box thing works i will make a better stand for the camera um i've just got it sitting on top of judas priest screaming for vengeance because that's what i'm listening to in the record player before so yes rock on uh like and subscribe and stuff i keep uh, forgetting to ask that and i feel like i'm begging but uh, there you go catch you later